William Rothschild achieved much in her long life, using her great wealth for the benefit of others. She was a campaigner for gay rights, pioneered the restoration of wildflower meadows, and promoted the use of art therapy to treat mental health conditions. The study of fleas and of the toxins, the parisings in plants being used by insects to deter predators were her main fields of study. She also worked with Alan Turing to break the Enigma Code at Bletchley Park during World War II. When Eva Crane got married in 1942, one of her wedding gifts was a beehive. Her curiosity about how bees function led to her becoming a world authority on these important pollinators. The carefully detailed work she did and her ambition to connect researchers in apiculture around the world still resonates to this day. Eleanor Armourod is a formidable self-taught Victorian figure who won many accolades worldwide for her work on insects that destroy crops and ways to prevent them from doing so. She was a fearless experimenter and once famously licked a live great crested newt to experience for herself the unpleasant effects of the toxins in its skin. She wrote many papers and reports and even lectured for a time at the Royal Agricultural College in Cirencester. Margaret Ray Mackay started work as an entomological artist in London. However, the Second World War led her re to return to Canada to take up work there with the government, there as a forest entomologist. She traveled throughout North America, particularly studying moths. Her extensive scientific publications included her fantastic illustrations. Life as a governess was not the most obvious start in life for a woman who would become an extraordinary and prolific solo explorer and collector of entomological specimens in South Pacific. But Lucy Evelyn Cheeseman really seemed to do anything obvious. Born in Kent in 1882, she wanted to be a vet, but women weren't allowed to study at the Royal Veterinary College. So she learned some German and French, worked for the Admiralty during World War I, and then discovered entomology. Her huge collection, sketches and notes are now at the Natural History Museum. Erica McAllister is the curator of Diptera at the Natural History Museum. Her love of insects, particularly flies, is infectious. She's a prolific broadcaster and author, as well as a scientist. She has produced a particularly wonderful book on flies that will persuade you that they are in fact gorgeous creatures. She worked with Electric Voice Theatre as the original on the original Entomologist Anonymous project in Bournemouth. Oh, oh.
Thank mm-hmm. you.